Saba health experts have called for a stepping up of the vaccination rate to prevent the state from becoming the next Klang Valley in new COVID-19 infections. Two specialists from University Malaysia Sabah said boosting the vaccination program is key to bringing down the number of cases, which hit a record high of 1,383 yesterday. Dr. Q.C. Tech, a consultant pediatrician at UMS, Medicine and Health Sciences Faculty, also said the intensive care units in the state's hospitals need to put up more beds, especially the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Kota Kinabalu. Q who is also the Malaysian Medical Association SABA chairman, said there are reports that open space-like hospital corridors have been converted into COVID-19 wards. He said QEH has been turned into a COVID-19 hospital due to the surge of infections, with its emergency and trauma department only accepting critical COVID-19 patients. Health Director General Dr. Noor Hisham Abdullah said on August 5 that more than 1,000 COVID-19 patients are being hospitalized daily in the Klang Valley. He said hospital admissions in Selangor, Kuala Lumpur and Putrajaya have gone up by 33% compared with just two weeks ago, causing a strain on the already stretched public health system. Sabah local government and housing minister Masidi Manjin also said yesterday the number of new COVID-19 cases in the state will continue to rise unless more vaccinations are carried out. Yesterday, the number of new infections soared to 1,383. The previous high was 1,379 on Sunday, and with 1,291 cases on Friday. This means new daily infections have hit record highs three times in the space of just five days. As of Monday, 1,126,645 individuals, or 40.8% of the state's adult population, have received their first dose, but only 485,880, or 17.6% of the population, have received their second dose. Masidi said the government is continuing to ramp up the health department's vaccination capacity but added that vaccine supply must be available and sufficient at all times. UMS, senior public health medicine specialist and public health unit head, Dr. Yusuf Ibrahim, said Sabah is still the lowest in terms of vaccination coverage, but welcomed the state government's move to boost the immunization exercise. also welcomed news that the state government's investment arm, Kazana Sabah Group, will be purchasing 250,000 doses of the Sinovac vaccine but pointed out that more is needed. Mm -hmm.